Exactly. Uh, what was your first thing you did drama school? Did you go to drama, school? Go to drama school, national theatre, yeah. 18 months, yeah. national service, yeah. uh, then on to the comedy circuit. Then the day-to-day -day radio. Day-to-day, -day, on the hour, day-to-day. Day to day working with improvisation. Yeah, working with improvisation. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that's true. And working with a team that had been assembled, uh, that we were getting to know each other quite well yeah. through the radio, and just a very, very strong team, yeah. and very strong ideas, and yeah. we felt it was, you know, original, and you know, we, and also. It's one of those things when you work with a team and you get on well and you have a real laugh, it's just like yeah. friends having a laugh. So yeah. it's yeah, it was exciting. Yeah. So you started with on the hour, then you branched off to uh, day to day and yeah. also Alan Partridge. That's right, so yeah. The, both of those were on the radio. Yeah. Uh, went over to the telly, yeah. yeah. I mean the differences between the two were they was it the same kind of feeling for both? Same but radio to telly or well, partridge, partridge on day to day. Day to day. It was more um, Day to day was a bigger monster. Yeah. Uh, you never had a sense of the whole of it. You yeah. knew you were doing bits and pieces. And I suppose only Armando and maybe Chris had yeah. a sense of the whole of it. Yeah. Um, you know, and you saw glimpses and then you finally sat and saw yeah. the program. Whereas what was nice about knowing me, knowing you was sort of like a cottage comedy and we all sat and wrote it together. I mean there's mainly Armando, Patrick and Steve who wrote it, but you know, we'd improvise it again and you knew what was going on in the shape, so you're more closely involved. Yeah. Was it recorded pretty much live, the Alan Partridge? Yeah, yeah. We tried to do it as yeah. much live as possible. When we, uh, even though it was in the radio, we'd sort of dress up a bit and, you know, in as, as our characters and try and make it as real as possible. Yeah. So after that, what did you do after, the, 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 say, the day to day? Was it Alan Partridge after that? Yeah, then, then the Alan Partridge yeah. things happened after that. And, uh, and then, uh, well, there was the armistice, the yeah. Saturday Night Armistice, and I was just trying to get more acting work as well, you know, this Mission Impossible. Yeah. Where we How did you get that to the same casting director? Was it? That was, yeah, that was through Peter Principle, the sitcom right, people. Yeah. And Brian De Palma wanted one funny moment. <laughs> he, someone told him sense of humour would be quite a good thing to have, and uh, she recommended me, and... Uh, so it was great, I didn't even meet him, and suddenly I was on set with all Tom Cruise <laughs> and Ron, it was great, yeah. Very exciting. Yeah, and then how long ago was the, the pilot for the Peter Prince That was almost two years ago. I know because my girlfriend's pregnant now, and she was exactly as pregnant as a pilot, and we've got a baby who's almost two years old, right. so uh, I can work it out <laughs> by the children I had. So. Was it transmitted? Uh, yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, they had a series of pilots, oh, a series of pilots, right. and uh, it was good, the pilot. I mean, this yeah. is come on, you can just come on the stage, and yeah. Uh, but yeah. It's What's your feeling about about working for it? I and mean, obviously, it's good because you're working for it. Yeah. I mean, even if I hated it, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, you tell wouldn't you. say that. No, no. But do you I, think? No, I, I think it's it's a rare thing that, in as much as it's mainstream and accessible to everyone. Yeah but is also funny. There's very dense gags. Traditional. Yeah, traditional. And, and also, yeah, it's character-based. You've got a troop of characters, even yeah. though there's a very strong main yeah. character who's yeah. a lovable rogue, you know, yeah. in the tradition of um, Rigsby and uh, Forty Towers and, you know. Yeah. Um, it's slightly Del Boy, sort of. Yeah. Kind of, slightly. Yeah, all those things that, you know. Ducky and Diamond. Yeah, Ducky and Diamond. Yeah. Just, I think it's just very tightly written. Yeah. It's very well written yeah. and... Uh, and it's great to be involved in it. I think it, I think it'll do well. I hope so. Is it there plans for a second series? Uh, well, second? I don't know. In, uh, there's stories. Yeah, we all said that'd be good and this would be good. Uh, but um, I mean, you you know, who knows what will happen? But uh, one hopes. It's yeah. in our heads. It's already been commissioned. Yeah. But, uh, and is it is it Channel Four? Would it come out? BBC One. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, mainstream wow. BBC oh, One. Oh, yeah, woo, oh, stand by your beds. I think it's 8:30 BBC One. Wow. Don't know what time the slot is. Well. Oh God, thanks <laughs> a lot. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, no, no, it's a very family show. You know, that's what they're going for. And what's it like working with with Jim Broadbent? He must be he's just uh, he's just a god. He's just fantastic. I mean, <laughs> and he's you know, this so sounds so show busy, but he's such a nice bloke. Yeah. It's almost irritating <laughs> he's so human and lovely i think that's why it's so good because he like 
he, his character could be so obnoxiously, yeah. you could ha yeah. hate him. Because Jim is so nice and has such sort of sympathy for Oates, yeah. um, he, he gets away with it, really. But yeah, no, it's great. You know, I, you know, I, sometimes, you know, when you're part of this rock and roll generation, you know, day to day, so you can think, yeah, we know about comedy, change the world. And then when you work with someone like Jim, you think, oh, I've still got quite a few years apprenticeship yeah. to go, you know, which yeah. is good. So, yeah. will each um, will each episode have a like a different character coming to the fore, or is it mainly centred around? Jim? Centered around Jim mainly, and you know, we bump the rest of us bubble up and down yeah. every now and then, but uh, yeah. he's the central thrust. Right, so are you working on anything else? Have you done anything else planned? Yeah, we've got the uh, election night special for wow. the Armistice. So we'll be doing, we've got a three hour live okay. special <laughs> on May the 1st, if that's when the yeah, election is. Will be. I think so. BBC, BBC 2. BBC 2, whilst Dimbleby's on BBC 1, we're on BBC 2. Three well, um, we'll be expanding it, you know, having other people in, and right. uh, because we'll be having results as well, hopefully. All right. So it will also be like, you can get your results, which yeah. you can. Uh, the real politicians, or you that would be settling. That would be settling. Obviously, I mean, he'll come. To anything, yeah, I'm sure you'll get the horse yeah. on, but uh, that would be telling, Yeah, but I mean, we got. I think it'll work. I think. It'll, I think the live aspect will give it a, an edge. It's like the alternative election. Thing. Yeah, it will be that. Yeah. And how many series of uh, the Saturday and Armistice have there been? So There's the one. Saturday and the Friday. So we've had two series so, so far. So the first one was a Saturday night Armistice, Friday. and then the Friday night. Will there be another one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, in January. The not I think we're no. sticking with Friday. And that seems to work rather than collecting days. Those, those have been those have been successful. Oh yeah. Those have been, oh yeah. Been, been good. Yeah. The ratings have been good and the feedback. I mean, again, you know, it's, it's BBC Two. It's not BBC One in the way this is BBC One. But yeah, it's, it's very. Is it like kind of modern? Uh, cross report, or that was the way it was. Yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. Yeah, that meets brass eye, you know. Yeah. Or it is very much from the day to day time stable, but um, yeah, a bit more. You know, it's topical, so it has that weekly mad turnover sort of thing. In fact, in our first week, the night before we were going to film, uh, first week ever, John Major resigned as Tory leader, and I remember. It, well, it was it was really frightening. Did we write everything. Yeah, it was very frightening. But we, yeah, it, it gives you uh, the adrenaline of this, which I'm sure yeah. we'll get a live special. Yeah. But they had a big break when they couldn't. Oh, that's it. Okay, Thank you very much. Good. Thank you. Right. Thank you.